Baby dinosaurs are not exactly super common, but some are still found. The most common ones come from the herbivorous dinosaurs because they made a lot of them. But even here, some carnivorous dinosaur babies are also found. The most famous dinosaur doesn't have a great baby fossil record. And the most famous, most mysterious dinosaur is no different. That being said, some may not realize that there was some baby Spinosaurus fossils found. Let's take a quick look at it. All the way back in May of 1999, the Milan Natural History Museum, in collaboration with the Geological Service of Morocco and with the logistical support of G. Passini, carried out a paleontological expedition in the southern part of the Erechidia province of Morocco, focusing on invertebrate fauna. Some prospecting was also carried out in the Tofelot region near Urfoud. Among the many invertebrate finds, there was an almost complete, very small toe claw surface collected by Passini to the south of Urfoud, between the villages of Taos and Bega. This specimen remained unnoticed in the vertebrate paleontological collection of the Milan Natural History Museum until paleontologist Nizar Ibrahim and colleagues found and published that new Moroccan Spinosaurus specimen in 2014 which preserves an almost complete right foot with peculiar toe claw anatomy. These striking similarities with the toe claws of Spinosaurus allowed researchers Simon Maganuco and Cristiano del Sasso to publish on the tiny toe claw in a 2018 study in the journal Pier J. The itty bitty toe claw, this little guy right here, was legally collected and transported to Italy together with the material published by the teams that did the expeditions in 99, in agreement with the Geological Service of Morocco and permanently deposited in the vertebrate paleontological collection of the Milan Natural History Museum where it is catalogued as MSNM V6894. There really isn't much here, other than the surface traits preserved on the little toe claw, which measures 21 millimeters in length. Based on the anatomy of the toe claw, the authors found that it strongly resembles the foot toe claws found with the Moroccan Spinosaur. The tiny toe claw has a flat bottom surface, wider from side to side than top to bottom, and a length four times the depth. It has two furrows on the edge of the claw and a bunch of holes that the keratin sheath and blood vessels would have attached to. The toe claw shows several features that indicate skeletal immaturity. The bone surface is densely pitted, not only towards the tip but also along its lateral and bottom sides, whereas in the toe claws of the subadult aged Moroccan Spinosaur, nutrition pits are retained only within the side furrows a porous texture with even more dense furrows and pits producing a scarred effect is found in archosaur hatchlings and disappears gradually during growth, as it can be seen in immature living crocodilians and birds. The scarred effect is marked on the limb bones of the hatchling and juvenile theropods such as Shipionyx, Cynornithoides, Juravenator, the young adult Cynoceropteryx, and living birds. The interior of the claw bone is highly spongy and is well exposed in back view. Under the cortex, which is limited to a 600 to 800 millimeter thick layer, there are thin pillars of bone with a honeycomb arrangement delimiting large trabecular spaces. This indicates that the spongy bone was highly spongy and vascularized. Therefore, considering the degree of scarring and porosity of the bone, the authors estimated that the claw pertained to a very young but not hatchling spinosaurid. The measurements of the baby claw, when compared to the same claw of the Moroccan spinosaur, indicates fundamental growth isometry for these bone elements. In other words, this part of the body doesn't change in shape as the animal grows in size. Having said that, the authors did find some minor differences. One might think this is odd considering how much the idea of dinosaurs changing drastically as they age has been popularized in recent years. Considering how vast the dinosauria is, there was always going to be groups that changed drastically and those that just got bigger as they aged. 
2016 paper found that the Titanosaur, Rapetosaurus, in spite of massive changes in body size, maintained isometric relationships in the limb bones throughout growth, which indicates an active precocial growth strategy. In other words, it did not change too much in how it looked as it grew. It just got bigger and matured relatively quickly after hatching, as in how some hoofed mammals are able to walk and run within hours of being born. In case you wanted an example closer to the Spinosaur tree, there was also a paper in 2001 that analyzed the embryonic remains of the theropod Lurinhanosaurus. This paper found that the proportions of the center of the pre-hip vertebrae are identical to adults. However, in many other theropods, non-toe hind limb bones are reported to show significant allometry, affecting limb proportion and cursorial potential. They change dramatically as the animal is aged. The flat-bottomed toe claws of Spinosaurus, reported in the Moroccan specimen and here in this baby claw, have been hypothesized as to aid in walking and standing on soft substrates akin to many non-perching shorebirds today. The fact that it seems that the toe claw bones don't dramatically change as this animal ages indicates that babies were doing similar ecological things to adults or at least were adapted to the same terrain. Only more remains will tell us more about exactly what this all means in the grand scheme of the saga of Spinosaurus. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching.